Hello, StarCraft fans. This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. And today we have a game between Snoot and Petit Drogo on Abyssal Reef, the latter edition. In the top left corner of the map, we have the red Zerg player. It is Snoot from Team Liquid. And in the bottom right hand corner of the map, we have the blue Protoss player. It is Petit Drogo from My Insanity. All right, so two players who are very, very good at StarCraft 2 here from the group stages of WCS Valencia. And again, if you want the replay for this or any of the replays I cast at the pro level, you can find them on lotv.spawningtool.com. Search the player named Snoot. Search the, search the player named Such. Search the player named Petit Drogo and you'll find their series. You'll find the games they played in WCS Valencia. They're labeled as such. They're dated as such. You can tell what map it is and then get the replay for yourself to examine and see exactly how Snoot came out on top or how Petit Drogo won because I don't know who wins this thing. I honestly have zero Zero clue. Extractor on the way from Snoot. Hatch first already down. Probe scouting. Again, Protoss players, if you're not probe scouting against your Zerg opponent, you're doing something wrong. You gotta see what's coming. You gotta see if it's gonna be a hatch, if it's gonna be a one base attack, which again is super rare and really not that effective, but still you have to be prepared for that sort of a thing. Extractor, the pool's on the way. Now you can do some harassment here with the probe, trying to get the drones to go somewhere else for their minerals, which, ah, very good, but he's gonna, oh, look at this micro, he is doing this perfectly, harassing it while not getting minerals, because once this pro picks up some minerals and gets some in his mouth, he can't do this harassment anymore, ah, get out of there, drone, yeah, this is actually some of the best, best mineral line harassment I've seen with a probe in a long time, man, Petit Drogo, you're good at this game, you are good at this game, meanwhile, Walling off this really weird area. Here it is, natural base. Protoss players will learn to handle it, though. Going to put a pylon there. Photon charge available. Maybe a gateway here. Maybe wall it off with an adept. Cybernetics core on the way in expansion. Coming in for Petit Drogo as well. Second assimilator finishing up. Py uh, probe's already there to saturate it. But only two. Is he not? Okay, there's the third one. I was going to say. Oh, he's not fully saturating that second assimilator. Crazy stuff from Petit Drogo. Probe, ah, probe messed up. Got minerals in his mouth. He is no longer as useful to Petit Drogo as he was. Bummer of a time. All right, so speed on the way from our Zerg player. He's getting queens. He's probably going to go through a th for a third base here. Yeah, checking to see if the third base is clear of pylons and cannons. Because he doesn't know what's going on. His Overlord just showed up. And an adept moving out for the harassment. But lings and queens can handle a single adept no problem. Might save this probe. Mm, one more hit though, one more hit and this probe is dead, overstayed his welcome a little bit, did Petit Drogo, oh, saved him, what, the Lynx, no, why are the Lynx coming home, they recognize there's an Adept coming, the timer was running out, he wants the Queen, he wants the two Lynx, he doesn't want to have to make more Lynx than that, he wants his drone count to be good, so the Adept comes in and actually does finish the transfer to scout this third base, which means she has to hoof it manually, up here to the natural, and yeah, it's just there's a queen stabbing at you the whole time, and there's a handful of links here, four of them, and it's just a really bad place to be if you happen to be an adept. Moving the wounded links back is Snoot there, just gorgeous, and heading home. Wants to stay alive for future battles. No kills on the adept, but that's A-OK. -okay. So Overlord scouts on into the third base to see if there is a third base here. There's not, and this stalker not going to be able to kill it, but this other Overlord, Snoot, come on, man. Oh, there we go, turning it around, or at least trying to get it to a place on high ground here. Where it won't die. Oh, did kill this Overlord. Nicely done, Petit Drogo. Well done indeed. And Overlord actually not going anywhere safe at all. This Stalker could still chase it down and kill it, although there are Lings out, and Stalkers are afraid of a big swell of Lings showing up. That's what this wall is all about. Adept holding. Stalker behind. Four Lings are not getting through this wall. It's a good scout. Get out of there. Don't lose a single Zergling. And so far, one Overlord has died for these players, and that be it. That be it, ladies and gentlemen. Sport Crawler is on the way. For Snoot at his natural. It's not going to be an oracle, though. It is obviously a warp prism, robotics facility opening with a dark shrine behind it. So Archon drops. I'm sure that Snoot has seen this about 300,000 times over the last few months. He's been practicing it against it a lot, so I don't really see this being the end of Snoot. But you never know. You never actually know, do you? No, Falcon, you never do. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Warp Prism trying to sneak its way on up here to the third base. There's a Spore Crawler. There are two Queens here as well. Are there any Lings on the field? There are four of them. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. So Warp's in the DTs. The question is, do you attack with the DTs or make them into Archons? The answer is DTs. DTs coming in, but there's Detection. And Queens trying to stab at it. Get the... Oh, the drones sacrificing their lives. 
to keep this boar crawler alive. Ooh, 13 drones died? Are you kidding me? Whoa. I w I that DT like glitched out. I don't know what it's doing. More DTs coming up inside the main base, but again, detection. Detection is present, but not in this area. There's not. I'm going to sit here and kill everything that walks past. How's that sound? Six kills. 13 drones killed? That might have been a mistake out of Snoot. I know he wanted to protect the spore crawler, and he did. He kept the spore crawler alive, but wow. 13 drones with four DTs wailing on him instead because they couldn't attack the spore crawler. Jeez Louise. More DTs. Oh, no, in here, and they do take down the spore crawler. Oh, this third base is in a lot of trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Does he have an overseer? Uh, the answer is yes. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. It's actually coming in. Five more drone kills. This is really effective. Effective out of Petit Drogo. He's lost four Dark Templar, but he's killed 18 drones. Snoot's only down two workers, though, because he's kind of insane that way. Uh, resources lost. 1,300 for Snoot compared to 1,025 for Petit Drogo. All right. Third base up and just about done for Petit Drogo. This harassment has earned him the ability to get his third base up no problem. And a follow-up with two Archons and some Zealots. Which means your Lings are not going to be great in this situation. Queens either, honestly. It's going to have to be... There are Bane and Ling Bane Queen. Petit Drogo knows exactly what he's doing here. Going to get some shots off on this third. If you're going to evacuate, I'll take down your hatch. If that's what you want. Bane Ling's trying to smash on in here to the Zealots. And getting target fired by the Archons. Good hit there on the Zealots. Injuring them, but so many kills on these Archons. Four kills. Twelve kills. On that Archon, drones forced to fight at the same time. Once again, drones throwing themselves into the line of fire to try to live just a little bit longer, or at least keep their base alive a little bit longer. <sighs> okay, so one queen, six kills on that Archon. One of the Archons died. That guy had like 20 kills, I feel like. And somehow, queen's enough to chase this one Archon away. A fourth base on the way for Snoot as well. So tons of damage done by Petit Drogo in this early stage of the game. But at the same time, Snoot is only down... About 10 workers. He's got a fourth base here. He has to replace his drones, though. 26 drones killed by Petit Drogo. This is some of the most effective early game harass I have ever seen out of a Protoss player at the pro level. But Hydra Ling is out. DTs, not so good against them Hydras. And yeah, picking up the Archon, picking up the Dark Templar, and escaping. And by picking up the Archon, I mean the Archon died. Hmm. Knocking down the rocks outside of his fourth base is Snoot. He wants to be able to get around and get this warp prism if it ever does kind of do this hop up and down the cliff thing at the fourth, which is really super annoying to deal with. Uh, mothership core. Did Petit Drogo not have a mothership core? He didn't have a mothership core, you guys. That's because he was super aggressive. He didn't need to defend. Why would he need to defend? He had to. I mean, he was the one. He was the one who knocked. Fourth base on the way from Petit Drogo. Ling Hydra here, though. Joining the party. Upgrade, muscular augments is done, speed is done, charge is done for the Zealots, which is pretty interesting. Out of Petit Drogo, making more Zealots, making more Archons, making an Immortal. Immortals are really not what you want here with this Ling, Hydra, Baneling type thing. Gonna try to swing into this third, but really set up to defend well is Petit Drogo. Extremely well. Three pylons up. You can photon overcharge those to your heart's content. Uh, Zealot oversteps his bounds a little bit. Probe tries to get that fourth base down while the army's sitting on top of it from Snoot, so no, that's not gonna happen. And just kind of setting up a contain a little bit here. Four base to three base is kind of where Snoot wants to be. Don't attack into here. Photon overcharge is a pylon. Bailings. I'm not sure what they want to do. Do they want to explode on the Archons? No. Do they want, they're going to explode on the Archons. All right, I guess. One of the Archons dies pretty quickly, but there are still two of them here. Archon count dwindling, though. There's zero of them. And the Zealot's trying to charge in on top of these Hydralisks. Lings doing it at the same time 124 to 97 total supply snoot is down in workers but he's got a pretty big ling hydra army here is he continuing to make hydras he is not replacing his drones he knows he's down in worker count compared to pt drogo but he says i'm just going to deny the fourth base i'm going to set up pressure on the third eventually pt drogo is going to get mined out and i won't i will have my fourth base still largely intact so long term i'm feeling pretty happy about this Hydras! Are there? Is there any storm? No, there's no stat. Ugh, there's only one Archon here. Photon Overcharge defending. Banelings again exploding on top of Immortals. Not where you want them, but sure. It works eventually. Zealot trying to get on top of these Hydras. No, more Banelings joining the party. Zealots from the right side. Cleaning up. Trying to stutter step away from there is a Snoot. And again, in a direct confrontation against Zealots, they will lose that battle. But if they can stutter step and keep the Zealots from hitting them the whole time, they're going to be okay. Petit Drogo now trying to take his fourth base. 
Can he do it? 11 more hydras on the way. Snoot is not giving up on this, you guys. Not giving up at all. But there's a warp prism. Hey, Sheila the shark. How you doing, Sheila? Good to see you. Good to see you. You kind of scared me there, but I understand it wasn't on purpose. Warp prism here with two hit points and 100 shields. Sheila, you're kind of in the way. Sort of in the way. Big warping of zealots inside the main. This is something that has been a key to victory for many a Protoss player in the last few months here. These little zealot warpins inside the main base. Zealots with upgrades galore. Plus one attack on these guys. Ling's trying to deal with it. Meanwhile, Petit Drogo attacking into this fourth base of Snoop, but getting rebuffed by the big portion of Snoot's army and goes for the recall home. He does recall back to the third base. Warp Prism took some shots from those queens. Is he gonna, oh, <laughs> Spore Crawler hits as well there. Warp Prism feeling pretty weak, pretty weakened. Oh, free Immortal, where did you come from, Immortal? Immortal dead, gets picked off by Lings. Not in the middle of nowhere, but too far away from the rest of his friends, that's for sure. So Archon Immortal, Stalker, Bailings want to hit on those Zealots, because then I think the Hydras can handle pretty much everything else that Petit Drogo has. Keeping the Zealots from behind, though, then marching them in, but Bailings exploding all over them. Hydralisk standing in, stutter stepping forward, actually. Archons dying Mothership Core dead at the same time. Good warping of Zealots. This game is tight, everybody. Can the Zealots, they are chasing, they are hitting. They have been buffed. We are seeing more Zealots than we have in a long time. More Hydras in production. But it's 48 to 67 Harvesters. The fourth base is done for Petit Drogo. I think Snoot might have reached the capacity of what he can do here. He is just refusing to replace the 31 drones he's lost in this game. He's got 48 compared to the 69 that Petit Drogo has. I think he put all of his eggs in the deny the fourth base basket and wasn't able to do it. It's now four base to four base. Snoot continuing to make Hydras, continuing to make Zerglings. I just don't know. Army value, 3,800 for the Zerg compared to 3,700 for the Protoss. But Archons and Immortals, pretty strong stuff. Single Hydra. No, I was going to say, bad rally? No, he's scouting. Scouting. Hydras have pretty good sight range. Look at how big that sight range is. Zealot trying to attack. No, sorry. You can't get any harassment or scouting off. Not allowed. Not allowed at all. So Banelings with no speed. Doesn't need speed for the Banelings at all. Snoot trying to sneak into this fourth base. I just don't feel super confident about this working. Meanwhile, Zealot's coming into the natural. Because, hey, it's a good place to be. Another huge, big old warping of Zealots. Oh, no. Bailings on top of the Archons here at the fr at this fourth base. Not what you want. Enough Lings and Queens do take down the Zealots before they do too much damage. Hydra's trying to attack in. Bailings at the back getting target fired. Again, exploding on Archons. Not where you want them to be. Lings joining the party as well but suddenly it's 100 to 132 total supply petit drogo is definitely in the lead oh zealots at the third base and that's a good game oh a good game out of snoot snoot is defeated and petit drogo is victorious wow good good protoss win there from petit drogo just patience attacking when he needed to attack defending well when he needed to defend resources lost in this game once again always tell the story 1600 resource or 16,000 resources lost for Petit Drogo compared to 20. Is that, uh, yeah, 2000? 15 plus 4, uh, 19,300. So 19,000 compared to 16,000 is more cost efficient there. 63 zealots died, 4 immortals, 14 archons is a lot of archons. Actually, that's more than I expected as we look at this battle here. But 57 hiders, 187 links, 38 drones compared to two probes was a big part of it as well. 46 banelings died. Again, the banelings died stat here means they were killed without exploding on what they wanted to kill. So that is Archon's target firing, Immortal's target firing. Banelings without speed are easier to target fire. I know you don't really have to chase anything down with the banelings, but maybe having speed here would have helped a little bit. I mean, this is that early harassment from Petit Drogo, and he just kept it up kept it up i think he attacked every base with zealots at least once the third base was a major major point for dark templar harass at the same time and again i think it might have set the tone for this game honestly with that big deck dark templar attack where the drones sacrificed 13 of their lives to keep the spore crawler from dying and that's you just run i think at that point maybe snoot would have chosen to run if he could and i think it maybe went into his decision to continue attacking and not stay back and drone, which I think he could have done. I think he could have done it, but he wanted to keep that pressure up. Couldn't get that fourth base down. Couldn't really deal with the harassment back home as well enough, and Petit Drogo gets the win. So nicely done from the Protoss player, getting the right composition against what Snoot was trying to do. 
And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Thank you.